Hello everyone and welcome back to this day in history. Uh, we're going to do two in one today because it took so long to upload uh, last night part two of A State of the Race. I decided to do a two in one shot today um, on this day in history. I will still do uh, my debate reaction uh, later tonight after the debate. So, without further ado, this day in history, 1st, January 13th. On January 13th, 2018, at 8 a.m. local time, a text message alert went out to tourists and citizens of Hawaii and radio and television broadcasts. Ballistic missile threat inbound to Hawaii. Seek immediate shelter. This is not a drill. Um, there was a 38-minute uh, gap between the alert and the correct the correction, um, saying actually it was a drill. Um, the reason that they were having a drill. Uh, was because at that time, the President of the United States and the dictator of North Korea were taunting each other about whose nuclear button was bigger, whose worked, um, fire and fury, um, and the like. Uh, so, and the, inexplicably, the button for the drill and the actual message that they sent out were right beside each other. And, um, yeah. And it, just think about that. That was two years ago. It seemed that when this video is being recorded, two years ago, it seems like for a lot longer than two years. Trust me. <laughs> I've watched, oh my god. On this day in 1808 in Cornish, New York, Salmon P. Chase was born. Uh, Mr. Chase would go on to become Governor of New York. I'm sorry, Governor of Ohio. Governor of Ohio. Uh, a Senator from Ohio. A Secretary of the Treasury under Lincoln. Um, and the 6th Chief, Chief Justice of the United States. Um, Mr. Chase uh, would run against Lincoln for the Republican nomination in 1860. Um, he would not be successful, uh, but he would support Lincoln, and when Lincoln became president, uh, he would put Chase in the administration and later elevate him uh, to Chief Justice after the death of Roger Taney. Uh, Chase was part of Lincoln's team of rivals. Um, he would serve as Chief Justice from 1864 to 1873. Um, he would, he is at the moment one of only two men to preside over an impeachment trial in the Senate of the President of the United States. Um, he's presided over the impeachment trial of Andrew Johnson. Um, he sought the Democratic nomination for president in 1868, and the Liberal Republican nomination in 1872. Um, in a couple of days, uh, Mr. Uh, Chase and Rehnquist will have a, another member of their very exclusive club as men to preside over an impeachment trial of a president uh, when Chief Justice uh, John Roberts uh, presides over the impeachment trial of President Donald John Trump. On this day in 1978 in East Lansing, um, Nate Silver was born. Mr. Silver is the creator of the website 538. Um, he rose to fame Really, um, in 2008, when he predicted 49 out of 50 states uh, correctly, um, he predicted the District of Columbia correctly, but anyone with a 
brain could predict who's going to win that in the presidential election. Um, his only miss was Indiana, and he projected all the Senate races correctly. Not only did he pre predict the states correctly, he got it really close on what the margin was going to be. That's what set him apart. Um, and in 2010, he projected pretty accurately uh, what was going to happen in the um, midterm elections. And in 2012, he was very accurate on his projections of that election. Um, you need to check out the website 538. I love 538. It's a great site. Go, go check it out. On this day, also in 1978, a life came to an end in Waverly, uh, Minnesota. Um, Hubert Horatio Humphrey uh, passed away at the age of 66, um, and he packed a lot of life into those 66 years. Uh, he was the vice president under Lyndon Johnson. He served as a senator from Minnesota twice. Um, he was the mayor of Minneapolis. He was the 1968 Democratic nominee for president. Uh, and he called himself the leader of the liberal wing of the Democratic Party. Um, he was a fighter for civil rights before that was a an end, like, very vogue thing. It set him up to feud with Southern Democrats. Uh, but it also elevated him to national fame, and he became a protege in the Senate of uh, the most powerful man in the Senate at that time, and probably the most powerful senator of all time, uh, Lyndon Baines Johnson. And obviously you can see the respect that Johnson had for Humphrey, because when Johnson became president um, and needed a running mate, he chose Humphrey. Although he would disrespect Humphrey as vice president and treat him as an outcast, you can see the respect that they had. So, January the 14th. On this day, in 1784, the Treaty of Paris is ratified. It's the 1784 Treaty of Paris. There's been a lot of treaties of Paris. Um was ratified at the Maryland State House by the Continental Congress. It ended the Revolutionary War. It had been uh, negotiated um, in part by President, future President John Adams, um, Thomas Jefferson, and James Monroe. Um, but really, Adams was the lead negotiator. Uh, Jefferson and Monroe were just delegates. Um, it established... Uh, the United States is a sovereign nation. Uh, it outlined American fishing rights off the coast of Canada and defined territorial borders. Um, it also um, led to Adams becoming a uh, national figure. And in 1797, he would become the second president of the United States after serving as the first vice president of the United States. On this day in 1943, FDR became the first president to fly an airplane, airplane as president. He would fly from Miami to Morocco uh, for a con the Casablanca conference uh, during the war. Bev Purdue was born on this day. Uh, she was the first female governor of North Carolina. And on this day, in 1977, Anthony Eden uh, died in Whitshire. He was 79. He was a conservative prime minister after William Churchill. He was the gentleman that succeeded Mr. Churchill. Uh, and it is hard to succeed such a legendary figure uh, for anyone. And he certainly uh, felt that. And he had a just disaster 
of a prime ministership, uh, the Suez crisis, among other just tragedies, if you will say, that befell his prime ministership um, and historians in the United Kingdom generally rank him as the least successful prime minister um, in the 20th century. So, I will see you all after the debate uh, tonight. Um, with my reaction, I suspect that it will be a fiery debate uh, because right after we published the video yesterday, uh, the report from CNN about Bernie Sanders' comments to Elizabeth Warren in 2018 uh, surfaced. So, alleged comments. So, um, we'll um, discuss the debate tonight. I'm sure there will be lots of fireworks, and it will be quite interesting. So, I'll see you then.